Hello, my name is Christina. This is my sign name. And I wanna discuss with you and just give you some information about marching and any event really and problems I've seen with the deaf community. For example, if you have a stage with an interpreter on the stage, you need to make it very clear visually that the deaf have access to watch. You can't allow photographers to take up the whole front area because the deaf can't see and that's not accessible. We can't be looking around and asking photographers to move or being ignored because we do need accessibility to information. And you need to make sure that the photographers know, let's say they need to be on the right side so that the deaf can have the left side so that they can see the interpreter clearly. This is a continuing problem that all the photographers are in the front and that there's no access to the actual interpreter provided. For people in wheelchairs, they also need to be in the front. And the deaf can stand behind them. Because if deaf people are standing and wheelchairs are behind them, then they can't see either. And that happens a lot too. And people with wheelchairs, they also need to see interpreters and just what's happening. So maybe sometimes having people in wheelchairs off to a side also, or having the deaf people stand behind them. But we're not the only ones that need access visually to the stage. So now, next I want to discuss with you information about having deaf people in the front of a march. That's great. When you're marshalling, if you're at an intersection and there are deaf people in the front, marshals can gesture, stop, intersection, stop, or wait, stay, intersection. When you're done with the intersection, they can say it's clear and come or keep marching. If you need to turn left or right, this is how you do that. You'd say move over left or over right. If you need help, need help. This is how you sign that. You need help. Are you deaf? You deaf? Hurt? This is a sign for hurt. On the street, if we're marching, and you need people to make a clear path, you can just gesture to move over. To come with me, or to go, This is the sign for stop. This is the gesture, stop. Walk on the sidewalk. It's the same idea as the street. You can gesture to move left or right. If they're walking, once you have their attention, you can just gesture. <clears throat> if a deaf person is looking for an interpreter on a stage, you can show them where by pointing. This is the sign for interpreter. And depending on where it is, just show them where. What area they need to be in. This area to show you where. And it's a good idea to use written signs if you have a stage interpreter this way, ASL interpreter this way or that way. Clear signs make everything more accessible. 
setting it up for people to see, and then they know where to go. So this is the sign for slow down and the gesture. Slow, slow down. And another thing is, a lot of deaf people ask for an interpreter. And sometimes a lot of deaf people, they really have good speech skills, like me. I don't have any problem with communicating. And the police have often refused to provide me an interpreter. So if you speak very well, it doesn't mean you can hear very well. And if they're hard of hearing, they still need access to language through an interpreter because they miss a lot, especially for hard of hearing. They miss a lot of words in the middle. And they only pick up a few things sometimes. They're only picking up 60% of what you're actually saying. 60 or 70%, that's it. So you really do need access to language through an interpreter. And it's faster, more efficient, and it's extremely frustrating. Because many of us get denied the access to a language via interpreter. interpreter. And the last part is, if people are arrested at an event, if they're deaf, please try your best to make sure that they're handcuffed in the front and to alert police that you have deaf people in your crowd. And being handcuffed in the front is very important. If they're handcuffed it behind, they can't communicate at all. So handcuffed in the front is so important. So deaf people can communicate somehow. They can use their hands to sign a little bit, or they could even write back and forth. And that way they have access to communication between the police and the marshals. And when deaf people are arrested in the front, handcuffed in the front, the police must provide an, a sign language interpreter. It's required. And the very last thing, and this is the sign for thank you, and this is the sign for you're welcome. That's it. Thank you.